what is going on you guys and welcome back to a brand new video and the long-awaited star wars collab with fortnite is here fortnite 23.4 update brings you all these brand new quests and of course anakin skywalker darth maul and all the clone troopers all that good stuff of course we got a lot of rewards to unlock a lot of quests to complete and of course with those quests you're gonna get a lot of rewards and they have a lot of good stuff here and of course there's also another one with which pretty much you got to pay uh with a thousand v bucks to unlock but i think it's well worth it because you're gonna like the rewards so let's jump into the lobby let's check out the quest let's see what we gotta do and welcome to a brand new video star wars fortnite let's go all right so i had to remove my camera so you guys can see the screen in all its glory right there find the force we have our brand new quest so as you can see right here in the top row these are all the free quests that you're going to be able to do to unlock you got to gain galactic reputation and sith holocrons completing these quests to unlock these rewards the first up with a thousand galactic reputations you're going to get this army of clones emoticon then we're also going to get some battle royale season level xp then you get this fall of the republic loading screen then we got this republic army backpack followed by this trooper formation spray of course we get some more battle level up xp and then we got the camino's finest wrap from the star wars series here show your style check that out right there guys looking nice with that all white kind of damaged look and then we have the little pod racer emote this emote is pretty cool check it out i like this animation we're definitely going to be running this once we unlock this with 8,000 right here at the bot at the bottom and then what else we got we got the galactic rondel spray once again you need right up here it'll tell you how much galactic reputation you need right here 9000 and this is your balance so since we're just starting this is at zero so we're gonna have to gain it by completing these quests and then of course you get some more um xp if you know leveling up the battle pass and then we get that clone trooper outfit check it out guys oh man if you're star wars fans i know you have been waiting for this collab and then we get the Sith Probe Droid Back Bling. Check it out. So let me skip one step back or retrace one step back, actually. And as you can see down here, to get this and unlock, it's going to cost you 1,000 V-Bucks. By purchasing the 1,000 V-Bucks, you're going to unlock this Battle Pass underneath. And let's check out what you get. And with these, you got to get the Sith Probe... Um, no actually my apologies the sith holocrons so with a thousand here or galactic i guess but i believe it's a sith uh we'll double check either way the first up with a thousand you get the sith probe droid as a back bling then next you get more xp right there for your battle royale season pass followed by maul's malice spray that looks pretty evil but hey we'll take it then we got the wolf pack trooper so it's like a different style he got a you know he got some gray patches on his shoulder and on his helmet then up next we got a darth maul snarl emoticon more xp and then you get the menacing presence wrap for your gun that red and black wrap so if you like you know red then this is for you then followed by the uh, what is it ahsoka's clone trooper right there that blue red and white color scheme and it requires eight thousand of the galactic reputation followed by maul's pole axe harvesting tool check it out let's swing the tool nice then some more xp followed by darth maul himself a powerful sith warrior trained by the darth cities let's zoom in a little bit on him as menacing and evil as he looks 
so right there guys you have it you have find the force quest the event ends in 20 days 8 hours and 21 minutes from this recording and of course we're gonna upgrade here and I think you automatically unlock the Coruscant guard outfit so we're gonna upgrade right now here we go let's get some V-Bucks we need a thousand all right so I'm back from purchasing the V-Bucks and we're gonna upgrade right now here you go boom buy the premium reward track instantly claim the Coruscant guard outfit and of course all those rewards are at the bottom that lead you to unlock Darth Maul himself so let's confirm this purchase but before we do so let me just double check uh make sure that i have my guy Tabor times support a creator code yep it's right there all right back to it let's upgrade confirm purchase and boom we instantly unlocked right here the corskin guard trooper sworn to defend the galactic republic part of the prequel trilogy set so we're gonna equip it keep it with theme and real quick let's go to the locker we're gonna remove that back bling we're gonna keep it very simple boom uh and yes let's go back to it and there you have it so now we're gonna work our way on through these quests and let's check out the quest right now while we're at it so here we go find the force quest within or the force within so first we're gonna land during find the force so basically just land um five times so basically five matches second we got to learn force abilities at rift gates in different matches so three different matches uh i guess we got to go right here in mega city to learn force abilities at rift gates then we got to search a republic chest at these three locations uh or at least at one of them because it says zero out of one we got to hire a character at any of these three locations we got a damaged enemy player that is wielding a lightsaber or a DC-15 blaster. So we got to come across somebody wielding a lightsaber and eliminate them. Then we got to destroy objects with the force abilities or a Star Wars weapon for 50 damage. Then we got to collect ammo at named locations right here marked on the map. Then we have launch kinetic ore with the Star Wars weapon. At Shattered Slabs would probably be the easiest place to do it travel the this or oh, travel distance on foot at night so we got to wait for the map you know to turn into nighttime and we got to travel a distance of 500 meters um and that's going to give us 200 of that galactic uh what is it called galactic reputation all right and then after that we got to travel distance in vehicles total of 1138 meters last but not least three stages of surviving the storm phases and finally three stages of travel distance while sprinting so we're gonna get into it we're gonna load into a match right away and check that out right there look at that that background is awesome once again star wars fortnite we're here let's get into it we're gonna do zero build mode right off the gate there you go we're gonna do solo and we're gonna jump right on in and get to work on these quests let's do it guys all right so here we go match number one and first thing we're gonna do here obviously land there and find the force that's gonna be automatic uh the first thing we're gonna want to do is search a republic chest so let's go right over here by frenzy fields and try to get that done if i'm not mistaken you only have to search one for 200 of that galactic reputation let's go all right so we're landing here but it's gonna probably be a hot drop so let's get this pistol real quick and let's go over there so we landed during the force that's already one we gotta land five times and let's go get this thing here which i could already see that we got people over here republic chess completed that one at least there you go 
So we completed, uh, what was it? Damage, I believe it was, yep, damage an enemy player that's wielding a lightsaber or DC-15 blaster. Uh, that was unintended, but we did it either way, so I'm going to take it. But he opened up the chest, so we're going to have to do it, I guess, in another match. I see an icon over here. What's this? Oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Let's get a move on. May the force be with you. Oh. Check that out. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oh, you can do a double jump. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a problem. We're going to get some clips off of that. All right, so what we got to do? Learn force abilities at Riftgate. So we did one out of three right there. Uh, they do appear on the map as they happen. But now let's see. Can we land? Or not land, but let's go over there and see if we can get a... Oh, this is awesome. There we go, we survived stage one of three storm phases. Travel distance in vehicles, we're doing that as we speak. Alright, I thought it would block bullets, but I guess it didn't. All right, so that last game was a little unfortunate, but either way, we got a little greedy with the uh, lightsaber. So we're gonna obviously complete this one next because it's automatic. Search a Republic chest. Let's try it again. Let's try to go right over here, and hopefully this time no one beats me to it. did that one right there let's go oh, we took that guy out and we opened the chest so Obi-Wan Kenobi, the force is strong with this. Yes! There you go, that's two out of three. I like that little animation. It's pretty cool. What else? Travel distance while sprinting. We gotta run. What else we gotta do? Launch kinetic ore with a Star Wars weapon. Okay. Uh oh, travels distance on foot while at night. So it is nighttime. We can sprint and travel at night. We've almost hit a thousand, so let's, uh, oh, here we go. There you go. We've completed three out of 12. Launch kinetic or with a Star Wars weapon. Two 
too. What's that? Alright, so as we continue, once again, unfortunate events. But we already landed three out of five times, and we're going to have to collect ammo. So let's actually go to Frenzy Fields this time. Thank the bus driver, and we're going to jump on out. We're going to try to get this done one way or another. Got to find some ammo boxes. That is not an ammo box. That one is. This one. Collect ammo. So we collected 80 out of 250 boxes that... Up, oh, here got another one. Take that. 128 out of 250. <laughs> So collect ammo actually is not ammo boxes. It's just ammo in general. Okay. So that completes that. Travel distance in vehicles. Trying to finish this real quick. Go. Done. Another 200 galactic reputation. What else we got? We've already completed 6 out of 12 of these quests. We gotta find the, um, the force. All right, so we finished that. And now, destroy objects with the uh, Star Wars weapon. So, let's go to one of these houses and just break everything with the star or with the lightsaber. Gained another 200 galactic reputation. Like I said, uh, these are fairly easy. What else we have? Hire a character. We still have to travel distance while sprinting. Survive storm phases. And, of course, once again, hire a character. So let's go over here. Let's go hire somebody to work for us.
All right, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, that last match, although we did die, it was pretty cool. That little exchange with the lightsabers. We're gonna go right here to hire a character. So let's make our way on over. And I believe we only gotta hire one, so it should be fairly easy as long as it's not a hot drop. Once again, hire a character and travel distance while sliding. And travel distance while sliding. So slide down this hill. There you go. Let's hire a garrison. We got him. Hire a character complete. 200 galactic reputation. Let's get some shield real quick. Survive storm phases. We've done nine out of 25. Travel distance while sliding. I guess if you want to do it this way, it's, uh, it may take you some time, but if you want to find a hill or a mountain. All right. Got a lot of shotguns here. Almost done. Let's go to the top of this hill and slide down. There you go. Complete. 250 galactic reputation. Now travel distance while on foot. And we completed all 12 out of 12, the force within quests. Now we got to collect Sith holocrons. We're headed to the stretch, the last stretch, outlast opponents, although there's one more stage after that. Who knows what it is, but we completed almost all the force within quests. Let's keep it going. We did it. All right, guys, so we're going right back to the lobby because there's just one more quest that we got to do, which is to win a victory royale. But right now I kind of ran out of time, so I want to make sure to see what we got. So as you can see right here, your reputation grows. The galaxy rewards its heroes. So first we got the Star Wars series Emoticon Army of Clones. Next, we got this Sith probe droid back bling. And of course, now we have the fall of the Republic loading screen, which is a new empire will rise art by Brandon Kenny, part of the prequel trilogy set. And then we have here Maul's malice spray, followed by 3,250 galactic reputation coins, credits, whatever you want to call it, um, resources, I guess. And last but not least, we leveled up, increases the battle royale season level. But let's equip this uh, loading screen right here. And yes, claim all these things. And also, we did the week eight quest. So we got this uh, epic style stray. He's like reactive with like lightning around him. All white suit with the red mask. Then we also got the new augment, which is the desperate reload. Basically, pistols will reload faster when reloaded with an empty clip. And we got the steady hands. Marksman rifles have reduced recoil. So we're claiming all that. Let's go back into the lobby. And here we go. 
So we've made it this far in the, I guess you want to call it quest battle pass. Hold on. Let me get my camera out the way. So as you can see, this is as far as we made it right now. We're up to here. Next up, we're going to get the Republic Army backpack. And we unlock this wolf pack trooper right now. What is this? The Sith infiltrator glider that's nice right there that's awesome that's some good stuff right there uh, i think that's like the ultimate uh reward but nonetheless the force within we're up to stage three out of three we have to win a victory royale so once we get that we have completed pretty much all the force within quests and then we gotta wait for begun the clone wars have that's kind of like yoda talking right there um, and those will be available in four days and five hours and 34 minutes from this recording. But either way, we've pretty much completed what we could to this point and we've made it this far. So with that being said, make sure to stay tuned for the next video where we continue these quests and we make our way through this Star Wars event here with Fortnite. So guys... All right, guys, and that does it right there for this video. Stay tuned for the next part where we continue these quests and we unlock all the rewards here with the Star Wars event and Fortnite. Once again, if you haven't done so, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. And of course, how are you liking this collab so far? I think it's pretty awesome uh, and we're going to continue it. So once again, thank you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.